Adding and subtracting fraction or rational algebraic expression sometimes cause us a lot of headaches. And if you are having problems dealing with this kind of math lesson, just take around and I will teach you how to add and subtract rational algebraic expression with the same denominator in an easy way. If you are not a subscriber yet, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated every time I will upload math videos made easy for you. Adding and subtracting rational expression. Before we will proceed to adding and subtracting rational fraction, let us recall first uh, what are the different types of fraction. So first, we have the similar fraction or like fraction. So these are fraction with the same denominators. We also have the similar fraction or unlike fractions. So these are fractions with the different denominators. And we also have proper fractions. So these are fraction whose numerator is smaller than the denominator. We also have improper fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. We also have mixed fraction in which this fraction consists of a whole number and a fraction. And this is an alternative way of writing an improper fraction. How to add or subtract fraction or rational algebraic expression? So for similar fractions, we have a plus b plus c over b. So this is equal to a plus c all over b. Or if a over b minus c over d, this is equal to a minus c all over b. In other words, to add or subtract fraction or rational algebraic expression, we will just copy first the common denominator, then add or subtract the numerators. And after which, we are going to simplify the fraction or the resulting answer if possible. Now, let's have example number 1. 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5. So, in this case, they are similar fractions. So, what we are going to do, we just copy the common denominator, which is 5, and we will add the numerator. So, 3 plus 4, and that is equal to 7 over 5. So, since this fraction is already in lowest terms, so this is, what, yeah, this is now the answer of this given fraction. Second example, 9 over 4 minus 3 over 4. So again, this is similar fraction, so copy 4. Then 9 minus 3 is equal to 6, so 6 over 4. So as you can see, this fraction can be reduced to the lowest term, so we, we will do the prime factorization. So the prime factor of 6 is 2 times 3, the prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2, and notice that we have this common factor 2, so cancel them out, so the answer is 3 over 2. Example number 3. Suppose we have 5 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1. They are having the same denominator, so we will copy first. Then we will add a numerator, so 5 plus 3, and that would be equal to 8 over x minus 1. Example number 4, 5x over x minus 2 minus 10 over x minus 2. So again, copy the denominator, then 5x minus 10. So as you can see, 5x minus 10 can be factored out. So the common monomial factor is 5. So 5x divided by 5 is x. The negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Now, x minus 2 and x minus 2 are common factors, so we can cancel them out. So what is left is 5. Sample number 5. 9y squared all over 3y plus 2 minus y minus 4 all over 3y plus 2. So copy the common denominator, 3y plus 2. So 9y squared minus 4. And this is a difference of two squares because 9 is perfect square, 4 is perfect square. And also y to the power of 2 is also a perfect square. To factor this out, we will just get the square root of 3, uh, 9y squared. So that would be 3y. The square root of 4 is positive 2. Copy this expression, but change the sign. So from positive to negative, and we just copy the denominator. So as we can see, these two factors are the same, so we can cancel them out. So what is left is just 3y minus 2. Example number 6, x squared all over x squared minus 16 plus 3x minus 4 all over x squared minus 16. So in this case, we just copy the common denominator, which is x squared minus 16, and we will add the numerator, so x squared plus positive 3x minus 4. Our numerator is a quadratic trinomial, 
And our denominator is a difference of two squares. So to factor quadratic trinomial, so x and x are the factors of x squared. Now we'll be looking for the factor of negative 4 in which their difference is positive 3. So negative 4, one factor is positive, the other one must be negative. And that would be 1 and 4. So our 4 is positive because the coefficient of the middle term is positive. So this would be x minus 1 times x plus 4. To factor the denominator, get the square root of x squared, so that would be x. The square root of 16, that would be positive 4. So copy the same terms, but change the sign. If this is positive, it must be negative. So cancel out the common factors. So these are x plus 4 and x plus 4. So what is left in the numerator is just x minus 1 and x minus 4. So this is now the sum if these two expressions are being added. Example number 7. So in this case, copy common denominator, so x minus 3 plus x plus 2. Simplify the numerator, so x and x can be added because they are like terms. So x plus x equals 2x, the negative 3 plus 2 would be negative 1. Factor out the denominator since this is factorable because they are difference of two squares. So square root of 4 is 2, square root of x squared is x, then square root of 1 is 1. Then this is 2x plus 1. Copy these terms but change the sign from positive to negative. And this 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 are common factors. So what is left in the numerator is 1 all over 2x plus 1. And this is now the answer. Example number 8. 4x squared all over 2x minus 3 minus 4x plus 3 all over 2x minus 3. They are similar fraction. Copy the common denominator. Now, subtract the numerator, so 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. Since the operation is minus and our numerator consists of two terms, so I would suggest that you will put this expression in a quantity. Why? Because the negative operation here will change the sign of these terms. Next, we just copy 4x squared, then multiply negative or negative 1 times 4x would be negative 4x, and negative times positive 3 is negative 3. So we just copy the common denominator. Now our numerator is quadratic trinomial. So to factor, to factor quadratic trinomial in which the coefficient of the first term which is the coefficient of the x squared is greater than 1, so we will do it by AC method. To factor without the trial and error, so we will identify first what is our a, b, and c. So in this case, our a is 4, our b is negative 4, and our c is negative 3. So to a, c, first step, we have to multiply a and c. Our a is 4 times negative 3, and the answer is negative 12. Now, we will be looking for a factor of negative 12 in which their difference is equal to negative 4. So negative 12, one factor is positive, the other must be negative. So in this case, 6 and 2. So 6 is negative because the coefficient of the middle term is negative. Now, after having the factors, we will divide each factor by the a. Our a, once again, is 4. So divide each factor by 4. Now reduce to the lowest terms. So this is negative 3 halves and this is 1 half. After reducing it to the lowest term, put the variable at the denominator. So in this case, we are using x, so we will put x in the denominator. Then after which, we are write them in the uh, as the sum or difference of the two ratios. So we will write first the 2x, then minus 3, then times 2x plus 1. And this is now the factored form of this given expression. So cancel the common factors. What is left in the numerator is just 2x plus 1. The denominator is 1 or just 2x plus 1. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts about this video and how can I possibly help you learn math lessons in an easy way. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.